French air investigators headed to Argentina on March 11 to probe a helicopter crash that killed 10, including three of France's best-known sports personalities, as the country's top sports institute prepared a ceremony in their honor. Two French officials will join Argentine investigators who are already combing through the wreckage, looking for clues as to why the helicopters smashed into each other shortly after takeoff in the rugged mountains of La Rioja province. Monday's crash killed Olympic champion swimmer Camille Muffet, yachtswoman Florence Arthied and Olympic boxer Alexis Vastein, as well as five French TV crew members and two Argentine pilots. The victims and five other sports stars including former France and Arsenal footballer Sylvain Wiltard were contestants in the reality TV series Dropped which involves placing sports personalities in inhospitable conditions. It was the bloodiest accident in reality TV history. Emergency workers removed the victims' remains from the wreckage near the small northwestern town of Villa Castelli on Tuesday and took them to the morgue in the provincial capital, about 300 kilometers, 200 miles, from the crash site. The bodies were burned beyond recognition, Provincial Security Secretary Luis Cesar Angulo told AFP. There were no survivors in the crash, which authorities said happened in good weather. Video taken from the ground showed the two helicopters flying extremely close, their rotors clipping and both aircraft plummeting to earth. Frank Fermanguian, head of Adventure Line Productions, ALP, that was making the show, said, suddenly, one of the helicopters, swerved off course and hit the other one. Prosecutors have opened a manslaughter investigation standard procedure when a French citizen dies abroad. French media provided blanket coverage of the accident, with L.E. Parisian Daily using the headline Goodbye, Champions. Some papers pointed the finger at the concept of reality TV, with the Sudwest Regional Daily asking, is even the best program, worth the sacrifice of 10 people and the death of three magnificent athletes? French President François Hollande led the tributes, expressing his immense sadness. The French National Institution of Sport, INSEP, prepared a ceremony in their honor while athletes and administrators mourned a death in the family. Muffet, 25, won three medals at the 2012 London Olympics, including gold in the 400-meter freestyle, sealing her status as one of the best swimmers in French history. She shocked the sporting world in June last year by announcing her retirement at the age of 24 saying she was exhausted by the long hours of training and wanted to pursue new challenges. Art Heed, 57, was considered one of the best sailors in the world, conquering what had then been a male-dominated sport. Her titles included the 1990 Route du Room, the most prestigious transatlantic solo race. L.E. Parisian published poignant excerpts from a forthcoming book, in which she wrote, The fear of dying is for me the only real terror, life is a gift. You have to live it to the full and always believe fully in one's destiny. Vastine, 28, won a bronze medal at the Beijing Olympics in 2008 in the light welterweight category. His death came just two months after his 21-year-old sister was killed in a car crash. Muffet's former coach Fabrice Pellerin told French radio station RTL, What's hard is to reconcile the image I have of Camille who was unsinkable with what happened. The swimmer's partner, William Forges, said she had been excited about appearing in the show. She was loving it, he told AFP. She was hoping not to go out first, to be able to continue, to go on to another magical destination. In the southern French city of Nice, where Muffet lived, mourners lit candles beneath a large poster of the smiling swimmer wearing her three medals. A tearful tribute was also held for Vastine in his hometown in Normandy. Paris Saint-Germain players plan to wear black armbands in their Champions League match against Chelsea on Wednesday. Participants in Dropped were taken blindfolded into inhospitable environments and given 72 hours to get to a place where they could charge a cell phone, said the mayor of Villa Castelli, Andres Navaretti. Other sports stars taking part none of them involved in the accident were Wiltard, Olympic champion swimmer Elaine Bernard, cyclist Jeannie Longo snowboarder and floor Merxair and figure skater Philippe Candloro. Alp said it would immediately halt filming and repatriate the teams.
The firm was involved in another French reality TV accident in 2013, when a contestant in the survival show KOH Lanta died of a heart attack in Cambodia and a doctor on the crew then committed suicide.